Stupid Ed here. Welcome to Power Wash Simulator. Just goofing around today. Uh, just playing with some new toys. Well, not really. I'm, I'm redoing all my audio and things and trying to work on my main computer rig that I have my bedroom. And it's been a, it's been a struggle, to say the very least. Um, hardware is a pain in the ass right now for me. I've been, um, I've been having real problems with drivers and systems not working properly. Uh, not working well at all. This computer in particular, I've had nothing but problems with with uh, video drivers. Um, not running anything that I need it to properly. And I can't edit any videos with it currently, or up until earlier today. Um, it's been a nightmare, to say the very least. So I have been gaming and recording and editing off of two different machines other than my main rig because it couldn't get everything running properly and that's where I'm dealing with today so um, this is kind of my last hurrah for the day I've been arguing with things and getting things up and running I have ugh, brought back out my audio interface that I have used ages ago and, I, and I, I I always loved it and for whatever reason today it um, would not work I was getting some really weird audio like playing a video game, it would be like uh, 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 like staggered in the the sound, which I've never encountered with it before. Uh, mind you, I've never ran that rig with um, Windows 11, even though there's drivers for it. Um, something something is not uh, working as as it should. So a little disconcerting. Uh, so I had to bring in my audio interface that I've been using on my other computer over here to see if this would work like try to see is it a driver issue is it a computer issue am i going to have to reset everything again and so i brought this thing over in hopes that it's just like the interface isn't working so then i can you know troubleshoot that on the other machine and that's the thing is like i'm constantly moving shit back and forth from one machine to another um, and it's just been like, okay, this isn't working here, let's try this. This isn't working here, let's try this. And it's it's never ending battle. And I'm not happy, to say the very least, with it. Um, on the verge of uh, wiping my machines again to do a complete reset on, on this one, I think, in particular. I think that's where I'm leaning. Uh, this one has been through a little bit um, of transition. Uh... Let's see. Yeah. This one, I, it, it's been moved around a bit. So I'm thinking it's almost time for this one to get a, a complete reset. I, I've done it on all the other machines. But this one I've kind of left alone. I'm like, oh god. But everything else is stable with the other machines. So I can reset this one and go with it. But that's a pain in the ass. I don't know if you guys have ever had to do that in a recent... Uh, with all security and two-factor authentications and like and <sighs> to top it, like, it it this has been like tech hell for me the last couple of weeks um i i've had my my cell phone uh for a couple of years now i bought um my 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 cell phone carrier had a thing you know it's like oh hey you know we'll give you this phone but you have to have this plan for two years and then we won't charge you for the phone type of thing. And the plan was a little bit more expensive than, you know, if I hadn't had the phone. But I was like, I need a new phone. And I wanted to get a, so a Samsung phone. So I was like, okay, got the A70. Um, day one, didn't like the fucking phone. Like, I was just like, it, it just, I, I it never gelled with me. Um, and that's, oh, God damn it. The thing was, is like, I, w I had a Huawei. I had a P10 that I absolutely loved um, and I was tempted to get the P30 at that time but then I'm like okay the Samsung phone and I could like, roughly were around the same price and I'm like okay maybe I'll just go I should have gotten the P30 I honestly should have but anyway um, so back in December uh, my contract was finally up um, you know so the phone was mine free and clear everything was good I uh, got out of my my uh, my plan, got out of everything, and like, okay, got a cheap plan on a another carrier, 
uh, brought the phone over. Everything works fine. So I'm, I, honestly, it was the first time I was happy with the phone because it was like costing me hardly anything a month, and I'm paying thirty bucks for like my plan, which is, you know, in the midst of the pandemic where you weren't going out and using data, I had two gigs of data, and I'm like, and I never <laughs> used any of it hardly. So I was like, okay, two gigs for thirty bucks a month. I think it's three gigs for thirty bucks a month. It was like cheap plan. So I'm happy with that. Everything's good. Um, you know, no plans really to get a phone. I was looking at maybe the the Pixel 6a when it comes out in the summer. I'm thinking, okay, my birthday is coming up in July. Maybe I'll buy myself a present. You never know. And then I was out the other night and um, taking a walk, which is something that I do from time to time. I know, shocking to most people. But I do try to exercise and get outside, even though I have become a much larger man than I want to be. But that, uh, that, that that's another story. But, yeah, I went out for a walk. Um, my headphone, I, I've got, like, these earbuds. And, you know, they usually work fine. And I went to, you know, tap them to mute the, the audio when I was going into the grocery store. Because I don't like having music on when I'm in and around. Because I want to be able to hear people sneaking up on me. Because, ninjas... And I just, you know, just I don't trust people in places, so I'm always conscientious. Keep my headphones on my head, so people think that I'm listening to music, but I ain't listening to shit because I just don't trust anybody. And that's where I'm at. But anyway, couldn't get my, uh, I tap, 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 nothing. Headphones were not registering it. Uh, I was like, okay, whatever. So I just pulled my phone out of my back pocket and tapped the thing to turn it off. And as I was about to put it in my back pocket, uh, the phone slipped out of my hand, shabam, onto the ground. And I thought, fuck, I screwed it, I'm dead, you know. I haven't dropped this phone, I baby it, I'm like, oh god. Pick it up, not a mark on it. Everything's fine. Music still plays, everything, no cracked glass. I'm like, fuck yeah, I did it. Um, yeah, should not have, shouldn't have thought happy thoughts because I didn't get it. Um, I got home, uh, I was texting a friend. And uh, I wasn't hearing any responses. I, you know, usually I would hear the ding. I was recording and doing stuff, so I thought, okay, maybe one I would slip past. But, you know, and then I was on the phone and a notification registered, but I didn't hear it. So then I'm like, oh, fuck. So then I started playing music. Nothing. Speakers on the fucking phone, dead. It looks fine. Everything works good. It works flawlessly over Bluetooth but you go to <laughs> listen to it so I can't speak to anybody on it nothing so I'm like fuck me um, and so I mean okay can you survive off of Bluetooth alone which you know typically you'd say sure but I can't I can't I, I need my phone to work um, so I ordered one online and I got a uh, Nord or sorry OnePlus Nord N100 it was uh, inexpensive on Amazon like I got it for a song so I was very thankful and happy with it. and um, But yeah, so my thoughts and dreams of getting a, a Google Pixel phone this summer have been dashed. Because I'm, a, I'm an idiot that can't hold on to tech in his hand, apparently. So yeah, it's, that, that, it kind of sucks that I, I did that. But, you know, the new phone came in and everything works fine with it. I, I picked it up, got a case for it. I'm thinking, okay, we're good. Uh, it's not, it, it's not a flagship phone. It, it, it's far from it. Um, it, it's like, I don't expect miracles. Something I pay like 150 bucks for with the refurb. Um, but it, uh, it does what I need it to. Um, and it, it seems fairly stable. Um, and my headphones work well. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it just, it's been tech. Has just pissed me off to no end for the last while, and I don't know why. I, I guess because I'm using it so much and I rely upon everything that I I use so much. But if I only used one computer, I would be fucked right now because of how everything has been going. Um, just the fact that you know everything. I I honestly don't have one system working 100% yet. And I run three computers here. Each one has its own thing. I've got the rig that's in my office that I normally was using and recording with. 
And dang it, I keep on hitting the fucking E because right next to the R. Stop it. So yeah, the the main rig that I normally was recording off of and everything uh, it sits in my. Uh, I have an office that I use for recording, and it's you know I've got two computers there. One is for me to record on. The other one was for me to run as like a a media server, or I could you know do extra things with it. It was my backup. Um, it always had my next best video card in it, uh, just in case anything ever happened, I had a backup. And then I had extra parts in my bedroom, because I had a media one that was plugged into my TV, and it was just, literally, it was just bits and pieces that I would collect and, you know, do upgrades, and the extra pieces for computers that you were using around, I would just throw it in this one, and that's what this computer is. Um, but I piecemealed it together with better parts out of the other computers, and that's the problem is that I have grabbed so much stuff out of all the computers that I think I've kind of mixed and matched myself into a corner. So, um, the two m machines that I've got out in my office seem to work. My biggest issue I have with the, the, the computer that I usually would record off of. Um, nothing has really changed on that except for the video card. I put in the 3060 into it. Uh, but that's the one that I upgraded to Windows 11. Uh, sorry, that's the one that I recently did all of the, the updates on. So, when I, I was using a 5700 XT on that machine for a couple of years, and rendering and everything worked fine, it, it was good. Uh, then I got the 6700 XT, and it was rendering a bit faster, and I was happy. But it started to crash. And so when the crashing started, I, you know, did things with the drivers and, and I reinstalled everything, but it kept on crashing when I was rendering out videos and I couldn't figure out why. Um, so I thought, okay, reinstall Windows, everything should be good. And, and I've gone into this in my vlog, if you've watched it, I'm sorry if I'm reiterating it again, but hey, I'm going to, you know, cut it short. Um, a lot of hoops and jumping through and I never got... The 6700 on that system to render couldn't render on it at all so the bedroom pc which is the one that i use now um that's the one that i bought the 3060 for and i'm like you know what i can move the 6700 xt into the bedroom i know that my um vegas pro works in there everything should be fine and i was just playing games in here i wasn't recording or doing anything fancy before so i'm like okay I, I should be good. So I pulled the 3060 out of my bedroom PC, moved it into my office PC, and put the 6700 in here. So now I've got my, what I think is my recording PC all set and good to go. Can't render for shit. Vegas and the NVIDIA drivers, it, it renders. It does. It renders fine enough. It does a decent enough job with the render. Super fucking slow. Um... A half hour video with my AMD cards I can render out depending on the graphic intensity I can usually do it for half hour video in about seven to ten minutes with the Nvidia card just over real time so that's not efficient at all that's not gonna work um, and it would you'd see it run for like a few seconds and you'd see it go fast and then it stop and then it go fast and then stop so it was rendering and pausing. So something was wrong with the drivers. Um, and so I thought, you know what? The machine right next to me is the 5700 XT. I know that one works. I can record on the 3060 machine and render on the 5700. And it's been a treat. I've loved it. Uh, for the last two weeks, I have played uh, Sniper Elite 5, recorded that. Been making two, three episodes a day during the week. Um, I've been gaming again, having fun gaming, and it's been a treat. Um, so then I haven't really used the 6700 machine in my bedroom. Um, and the other reason for me not using it is because the temperature calmed down. And my thoughts were, it's like, you know what? I want to, um, I, I want to use this as my recording one in the summer when it's hot. My air conditioner is in this room. You know, making logical sense. But I'm going to use my office for recording and stuff when I can. Um, it's been cool. 
So I'm like, I'm just going to take advantage of my setup, and then I will go and fiddle with it. So, you know, I thought this uh, this evening, I'm, I, I'm finished with Sniper Elite. I've got a bit of a break. Let's go and try the machine, and um, let's, let's just try to get it up and running and see what I can do. And ran into nothing but trouble tonight. So I'm here at my wit's end. Um, but I did find out something interesting. So Vegas, um, the problem I was having with it, with my AMD cards, with the 6700 XT, is that when I would go to render, you have your render settings, and you can use the um, your graphics card to render. So you can use the AMD VCE drivers or rendering things, and it works. Uh, it's been working a treat for me, and I've been doing it for a couple of years now with the 5700 XT and the 6700 XT. But on a fresh install, the basic AMD drivers and Vegas 16 do not like one another at all. So when you go to render, there is no option for AMD. Does not exist. No go. So I'm like, fuck. Uh, I went on to AMD's website trying to find a solution, and I noticed that they had professional drivers which is meant for creative people that, you know, want to use their video card for rendering. I thought, well, fuck it. May as well install that and see if it works. I installed it tonight. Boom. Everything was back. I was like, son of a bitch. So either AMD has not updated stuff in the drivers for the regular one, um, for, for the regular drivers for doing creative stuff, or Vegas doesn't recognize the ones that are there. There's something fishy going on, and I'm not sure which way it goes. I, I, I'm not pointing at AMD. I'm not going to point at Vegas. It, it, it sticks one half a dozen of another. But if I've got it working now, and that's the other reason I'm recording this now, is because I want to see how well it records, how well everything works, and how well the audio works. My God. I just... I... I I get a bee in my bonnet for tech uh, and for wanting to make my tech work better for me. Um, and there's a time and a place for it. And I should understand that I shouldn't fuck with it too much all the time. And I made big mistakes. Why? What the hell? Why can't I? Why here? Okay. But yeah, I think what it was is like I made so many system changes all at once that... M okay, thanks. That I just fucked it. Like, honestly, I just did too much at once thinking, oh, I got this, and I didn't have it. Um, I think what I'm going to do this weekend is settle down, um, pull apart bits from the computers, move things around the way that I want, get this one working the way that I want it to, um, and then, if, and if that means that I'm going to be pulling in the computer from the other room into here, so be it. It's fine. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. But uh, here's the thing. My office computer with the 3060, I have really been enjoying recording on it and, and playing. Um, I just, I can't render on it, so... Which, it, it kind of sucks, because, I mean, uh, cause I know what i got to do. And it's not something I'm looking forward to. That's the only problem. Is that I have to look at new um, rendering software. I, I have relied upon Vegas for years. I've been using 15 and 16. I have the professional versions. And I can't expect them to work forever, you know, as new tech comes out. You know, if I was still running my old tech with it, it's it, fine, you know, that's that's fine. But as I'm getting newer and, and newer technology, I can't expect all the software that I use to be as happy with it as I am. So, um, I'm going to have to suck it up and learn how to use DaVinci Resolve. And um, that's going to be fun. Uh, and I've been wanting to do it anyway, and I'm going to be honest, I, I've been putting it on the back burner because I've been able to make Vegas do what I need for my basic stuff 
but I've also noticed that as I'm I, wanting to do more and more stuff, um, more I, I want to make things look a little more professional for myself, and that's when I'm starting to run into problems. Is like I, you know, if I want to do certain types of edits, I need to change things up. So I think what I'm going to do is still work off of what I've got with Vegas for doing the gaming stuff. Uh, in the vlogs, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start using DaVinci and then go from there. But yeah. Did we do a thing? 87% done. Not so bad. I, 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 just, I didn't know. I've been playing the fuck out of this game. I picked it up um, a couple months ago. A month, month and a half, two months ago. Um, and I, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. It's been... It's just that stupid game to play when I, I just want to listen to a podcast or listen to a video where it's just like a talking head video or something that I don't have to invest, you know, a shit ton of attention to. This game is amazing for not wanting to, um, like, being able to do other stuff. Um, it's just that mindless fun. So I've been doing it. Then I, I, I got, like, a certain way into it and then my save game corrupt and I did the whole thing again I'm like 20 some odd hours into this game uh, this is as far as I've ever gotten so <laughs> I think it was um, let's double check which ones have I done career mode completed yeah these are all the ones that I, I've completed so yeah as you can see I kind of dig it but yeah it was this the skate park that was a nightmare that thing was brutal. And the fire station was pretty awful, too. Um, the one that I really hated, <laughs> not going to lie, was not the back garden. Which one? It was like the Hansel and Gretel house. This one, the forest cottage. Fuck that one. That was a nightmare. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, I just wanted to goof and uh, record a little bit tonight. I just needed to chill, man. I, 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 I'm sure people get it. Where you just... You, you've had enough. You know... I was going to go out and take, do my vlog tonight, um, and I was waiting on a delivery. I, I was waiting on the, the, the case for my phone. Um, I, you know, I, I bought it, and, you know, I, you buy it online, and you're like, okay, you know, why spend the money on the case? Wait till you get the phone, see how it works, see if it's going to work, instead of having to return two things. You know, if it doesn't work, you just have to return the one. Um, and then I, 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 I was fine with it. So I ordered a case and it was like the next day delivery. I'm like, okay, good. So I'm excited. You know, I was like, ooh, case. And, um, you know, and it, it's great. It works fine. Um, digging the phone. I'm not upset. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't do everything. But hey, uh, neither did my other phone. And this one actually has like a 90 hertz screen. So, uh, and I plugged my uh, Razer uh, controller into it for my phone. Stream Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, from the Game Pass on it. Uh, something to do in between calls at work. Uh, between that and my Steam Deck. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not upset. Uh, I haven't done enough with the Steam Deck either. That's another thing that I'm pissed off at myself with. Is um, I've bought some stuff to make some videos for it. Um, I've got a nice little dock for it. And I've got everything set up. Um, and that's something I was planning on doing... Uh, a couple of weeks ago when everything kind of went tits up with my system so I'm like oh god but yeah I, I'm almost at a point now where I can get things back up I think with it and so hopefully I'll get some content out of that um, if, if you're on the fence about getting a Steam Deck um, I love it I, I, I don't have bad things to say about the deck itself it's fine it runs. It, they they're updating it all the time. They're doing, they're, they're doing the hard fucking work with it. You know, putting out something, uh, a brand, a handheld PC that you can play your fucking library on it for your, uh, you know, not an easy task to do. And Valve, you know, for the price that they did it at, I'm ecstatic. Like I'm honestly, I I love what it is. Um, my issue isn't with the Steam Deck itself. I love it. Uh, my issue is with me. Um, I get um, headaches with it. And I don't get headaches playing on my computer at all. I can play for hours and hours and hours. But 
uh, the screen resolution and the size of the screen with my glasses that I've got, um, I need to get a new prescription. And um, so, not upset at the Steam Deck at all. I'm actually kind of happy with it because um, it showed me that I have been babying my glasses for a while. Um, and what I need to do is get new prescriptions and get that taken care of. So that's something that I'm working on um, to get done is to get my uh, an eye test done so that I can get new glasses uh, so that I can actually play on my Steam Deck. It, it, that's fucking crazy, isn't it? I think it is. 97%. We're going to complete this. I, f I get a feeling we can. Um... I didn't. I had no idea how far I was going to go with this tonight with you guys. I thought, oh, you know, testing little five minute, ten minute video. Twenty five minutes into it, me fucking doing this, insanity. This is my life. Uh, let's get this thing here. Pick it up, and then we'll put you here. I'll put you here. But yeah, this game. If, if you get the opportunity to grab it for cheap, do it. <laughs> It's not expensive. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is for everybody either. I shouldn't say that. Um, you know, I, I think it takes a certain mindset. I know that a lot of folks that have it love it. Um, and I was on the fence with it, to be honest. I was like, is that really going to be any good? You know? Um, but I, I love PC, uh, the PC building simulator. Like, that has been a treat for me to play. And uh, it was on Epic. Uh, it was free a while back, and I got that, and I had it for on Steam and didn't like it. Got it on the on, on Epic, and I played the fuck out of it. So, but it was a new update was on it that uh, wasn't there before, so that made a big difference. Where you kind of were pretending you had a business, and it was fun. Like it, it was a lot better than I was expecting. Um, but it kind of opened up my eyes to this and House Flipper. There's just a bunch, a bunch of these games that I, I like. Okay. Uh, what do I got left to do? Let's take a quick look. Uh, 96 brake lights. 4 out of 5. Let's go back and check. Do, do, do. Brake lights. That's an indicator. Brake, brake, brake. Break up probably one of these up here. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Uh, let's go on top. It is the far one. Um, I, when you get to a certain point, uh, it shows you three that you have to do. Like the final three. So, I know I'm not quite there yet. Ah! Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, and fine. Sometimes pe things are just in an awkward spot. And it sucks. But I'm going to get you. Okay. <laughs> Vent. Uh, exhaust and windscreen. Which one's a windscreen? Window. A window. A window. A window. Are you the front one's a windscreen? You are. That one's it. Exhaust. Obviously it's going to be in the back. It's probably almost done too. Oh god. I thought I did that. Oh no, I didn't. I missed. That is not bad. Of all the like, I'm pretty. Th that was no. That was shitty. Pretty thorough about everything else, but for the exhaust, I was screwing up. There we go. Ta-da! And uh, here, watch me do it. This is. Uh, I had a chunk of it done before I brought you guys along, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for letting me vent. I hope you enjoyed this. You know, something different. Um, I don't get to do this kind of stuff very often, but. Uh, I enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for